Blackwell is on the scene for us in Orlando. Uh, Victor, uh, you're, you're helping us better appreciate what's going on. I know you have a special guest uh, who can shed some light, uh, uh, update our viewers. I do, Wolf. I have with me Russia Mubarak with the Council on American Islamic Relations uh, CARE. Russia, I first want to come to you with your reaction to what happened here overnight. 50 people killed, at least 53 people injured. I had actually woke up to pray this morning and opened up my Facebook account and saw the breaking news locally and my heart dropped. I have so many friends and colleagues from the LGBTQ community and my prayers were with them. I know a lot of our friends were talking, is everyone okay? I've been awake since then and, you know, we're heartbroken. We're disgusted. This is horrifying and no community should have to fear who they are and especially when they're going out for entertainment and they're in Orlando the city beautiful they disturb the peace here in Orlando our community was terrorized as a Floridian I'm, I'm horrified and we know the care has condemned the violence condemned this attack uh, there will be some who will turn their ire not to this specific suspect but to the entire Muslim community and we know that after incidents like this that care has really strong concerns about the safety and well-being of Muslims across the country. We definitely have concerns, but I think something as the gravity of the magnitude of this right now, we're just concerned about the victims and their families. The Muslims here in Florida and Central Floridians are just mobilizing um, blood banks. We're just, you know, sending prayers. We are worried about the backlash, but that's at the that's at the back of our minds right now. We're just mourning here, just here as a Floridian for the families, as for our friends and you know our neighbors. There is a 500% increase in Islamophobia with hate crime and backlash, so there is a fear. And you know we are working with law enforcement, OPD, uh, Orange County Sheriff's Department, FBI yeah. to make sure that you know we are we do trust them, and they've done a great job with everything so far. But right now we're worried about our victims. You, you worried about the victims? You're in communication with law enforcement. Have you had any communication with this shooter's family in Fort Pierce? No. Okay. No communication. Will you be efforting that? I'm not entirely sure of what Care Florida. We're, right now we're just focusing on you know what's going on right now on the grounds as far as our victims here in Central Florida and being there for the community. Our uh, intelligence analysts back in Washington and joining us from around the country have talked about uh, the self-radicalization. There is no evidence yet that this was an ISIS-directed attack, but ISIS-inspired uh, with the reporting that he could dialed 911 to pledge his allegiance to ISIS. And there will be some who question the, the Muslim community's role in stopping, preventing this radicalization and what role imams and Muslim leaders across the country should play in that and and cares position on that is one I mean the Muslim community has been the leading group the group of people that have been able to detect radicalism to radicalization so the Muslim community is doing the legwork but we need to do it as a team as a country you know when the Planned Parenthood shooting happens it's the same thing as any kind of accountability for the priest but just as the community together and law enforcement so we have to work together it's not a responsibility of one just group it's a responsibility as a country as america All right, russia mubarak with the council on american islamic relations thank you so much for being with us and i just want to send my condolences yes. to the families and you know we're here for them and our heart goes out to them as do we all wolf we're hearing from community leaders uh, here uh, in the muslim community uh, city leaders as well coming here uh, as this is now the scene of a uh, dubious distinction